All right, guys. We're gonna mount these rocker knockers with tree kickers onto this Flaris Pro XP. This will fit the Pro XP and the Turbo R. And we also have a four seat version too. But these are the real deal. Really heavy duty, they're one eighth inch wall, 120 wall, they're thick. They're not gonna ding up like the, like some of the light, lighter ones you see on the market. Um, anyway, these, uh, these you know, we're gonna show you how we get this done here. All right, the tools we're gonna need is a 10 millimeter impact gun. Take the skid plate off right from the get go. Get it out of your way, be done with it. Uh, you're gonna need a 14 millimeter wrench in order to get inside there once you drop the skid plate. Um, you're gonna need a Torx bit, maybe. I took off some of the bolts on the rockers. Don't know if you need to. Uh, you need some type of grinder. Even a, a knife will probably work for you. All you're gonna do is do a notch out where these go. This is a plastic skid plate, so it's real easy. And then what you're gonna get, how you're gonna attach it, Flares has these nice factory mounts here. You put these in here like that, and you're gonna take this wrench with a 15 millimeter socket and get behind here and tighten it down. So you're gonna have one here, one there. If you have a four seater, you're gonna have one more. Then the longer one here, you see it's got three, female on one side, male on this side. This one's gonna go up here. And you're gonna tighten that one from the inside. So we'll do that in a minute here. I'm gonna start with the first one here. Now I've got it mounted. I'm gonna put it in there already. We got a wrench here in my hand. That makes it go the right way. And then uh, we're gonna do, these fasteners have a nice little flat on them. So you can get a wrench on here like this. That'll help you hold the outside, keep it from spinning. Um, so what we're gonna do here, Get down here, we're gonna tighten these down. So, first thing we're gonna do is. In other words, line up these things where you want them, the flats, and then pull this back like this. And then I get this it. Pull it back like that. And then you're gonna put your wrench inside here like this. And tighten that down good. Like that. The torque on it there. That's the first one done. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to repeat the process. We're going to take these. We're going to put this part in here like this. Same way. Then we're going to get underneath there and do the same thing all over again. So we're going to put this one's a little trickier because you don't have as much room. So you probably have to do this one by hand. It's going to take you a minute. That will take it down all the way first by hand. And then we'll get a wrench in there and finish it up. So we're going to do that. We're going to get the wrench. And we're going to get the eyes aren't as good as they used to be. We get the 15 millimeter wrench. Get this. And we're going to tighten this down. Again, I'm going to put this on like this. Put my wrench right here. These are nice 8.8 .8 hardened metric bolts. These are nice in the frame here. I'll take a picture of this so you can see it once I get it done. But like I said, if you get it with the wrench, maybe you got something. I don't have anything. to do and I aim it back here maybe up a little bit we're gonna get this one so we put those in there like that washer down there I'll grab our last bolt here this one's a little trickier kind of tough to hold um, 
But we got them in. So there like that. Grab my wrench. And I'm gonna grab this wrench. Now, I'm gonna move this over here so you can see this side. Okay. Right there. process here. Always had longer arms. Get a buddy, it sure help. But I don't. That's gonna go. And I got an impact on so it makes it a little easier. I'm gonna get this down right here. See how I got the flats? I'm gonna go right there like that. That's about it. Make sure I got it tight. All right, just like that. Put the muscle behind it. Just like that. Be nice and tight. Just right, like that. All right. Now we got that done. I'm gonna I'll move the camera back over a little bit. Get the whole thing again. Yeah, maybe right there. There we go. So. Now we've got all, all three tight. Double check it, make sure you got them all tight. All nice and tight. I think this nice looking, look at it. It's got tree kickers, kicks it out past the wheel. It's nice. Rocker knockers with tree kickers is maybe we've been using for almost 15 years probably. And that goes. pictures here but you can see that goes just like right there so that's gonna go up here like this Mount all those and all you're gonna do take your lock washer and your screw and you're gonna tighten these down and uh, that's really about it so I'm gonna take some pictures we'll get some close-ups here we got close that ups. in there we got one in there one in there one down there and if you see, see how that mounts there? It's real nice. Okay, using our 10 millimeter impact gun or whatever you use to take it off. We're gonna put the skid plate back on. For the kind of money that these things are, you sure make these skid plates cheap. Anyway, you know how to do that. I won't bore you with that. So then, we're gonna put the kickers on there. Look at that. That's nice. Oh, nice. Really nice. Yeah, make sure all lined up there. Yeah, this little buddy might be helpful. But, yeah, we just take a, and yeah, we'll just start right here. Just like this. Take our nut in the washer. And this is a little bigger. This is a, an 18 millimeter. So we're gonna put that on there like that. Started. 
Okay, this is where you're going to use your 18 millimeter open end wrench. If you have a ratcheting open end, it, open end, it would make it a little bit easier, but it's going to save you a couple minutes. That's it. But uh, tighten these down real good. Torque them to spec as tight as you can get them. And uh, they are tricky to get in there, but if I can do it, you can do it. We got it on there. We're ready to ride. Check it out. Like I said, these are nice eighth inch wall. No chintzy 14 gauge, 16 gauge wall tubing. It's gonna bend every time you hit a rock. We could make it a lot cheaper that way, but that's not what you want. 